I'm Brinley Flickel. And I'm Lucas Johnson. Welcome, Welcome to, to episode two of Sage News. News. Now for our first segment, we go over to Noah with the club spotlight on the Ultimate Frisbee team. Welcome to Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee is a sport where one team has the Frisbee. The team with the Frisbee tries to throw the Frisbee from one team member to the next to make it to the end zone on the other side of the field. The team with the most parts at the end of the game wins. During Ultimate Frisbee Club, you will be doing activities such as practicing flick throws and forehand throws in order to improve your abilities during the real game. My name is Jackson Danucci and I'm the uh, Frisbee team head coach. We usually meet on Wednesday after school at Williams Park and then Friday at 2 p.m. at the wonderful Ann Morrison Park. Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot of fun on that team. And now to a segment of Sage News that first premiered on our show three years ago. It's time once again for IB Messages. Hi everyone, my name is Sam. Um, welcome to Ivy Messages. Today, we're going to be going around the Summit Building and asking people, who do you think is the most caring around the Summit Building? Let's go see what they said. Who do you think is the most caring person in the Summit Building? In this building? Yeah. Can it be a teacher? Or? Yeah, anyone. Okay, I think the most caring person is Lillian. Who do you think is the most caring person at Sage in the Summit Building? Student or teacher? No, anyone, actually. Um... Can you, like a student and a teacher? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. I'm going to say Miss Webster for teacher. And then, let me see. For students. Um, Noe Schneider. You're waiting for that guy? Mr. Dr. Henderson is also very caring because he... Mr. Dr. Henderson? All right. Darian. Okay. Lucas Johnson. The most caring? <sighs> Probably Dr. Hansen. I don't want to make that call. Nick Playa, he's very caring and nice. Parker Pinchansky. Ag. Looks like we have a lot of caring people around the school. Thank you, Sam. Next, we go over to Braden Hamill and Connor Ollendorf for this week's Week in a Minute. Hi, I'm Connor. Hi, I'm Brayden, and this is A Week in a Minute. This week in a minute, 126,000 gallons of oil spilled off the coast of Los Angeles around the Huntington Beach area. Protesters on kayaks, or kayaktivists, you see what I did there? Um, prote protested outside of Joe Manchin's houseboat over Manchin's stance on the reconciliation bill. Curtis, Curtis Road will be closed on the 9th and 10th of October. A woman was killed in a vehicle accident, accident off of Overland Road. Star Trek icon William Shatner, age 90, will become the oldest person ever to visit space after Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, confirmed he'll be aboard the next flight. The John Morrison Birds of Prey Center has recently released some former rescue birds back into the wild. The Iowa Humane Society sees spot walks go virtual during all of October. Mark Zuckerberg's net worth recently dropped by $7 billion amid worldwide Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp outages. It is now October. Pumpkin spice drinks and treats are all back. Hope you enjoy them. This was News in a Minute. Thanks for the update, you two. And now over to Skylar for an interview with the dance committee about the Harvest Moon Dance next Thursday. Hey, Sagers. I'm back with... Wilbur, uh, leader of the advertising part of dance committee. Hi, Wilbur. Um, so can you explain to me what dance committee is? Uh, dance committee is a club that is hosted by Dr. Hansen to plan the upcoming dances for Sage. So is there an upcoming dance that's gonna happen? Yeah, the Harvest Moon dance is coming up on the on next Thursday, the 14th. What time should we all be there for the dance? Uh, the dance starts at 7.30 uh, and it will end at 10. Is there any like admission requirements that's needed to, to get in? 
Yes, so to get in, you either have to bring $3 or a can of food to donate to the food bank. Okay, okay, makes sense. Dressing up is advised, correct? Um, dressing up is encouraged, um, but it is not required. Ah, ah, okay, I understand, I understand. All right, well, thank you very much, Wilbur, for your time. Back thank to you, you, Brindley and Lucas. Thanks, Skylar. Now for some save the dates, important dates to remember that are coming up. There will be a food drive before November break and there will be a prize for the grade who donates the most food. There will also be a blood drive on December 14th, so if you're interested in donating, put this date in your calendar and look out for more information coming soon. For sophomores and juniors, the PSATs are next Wednesday, October 13th, so make sure you have a hearty breakfast and bring your own calculator and number two pencil. Check your email for more details. Look for possible segments on some of these events on our future episodes of Sage News, but now to our last but not least segment for today Skylar in the hall okay bring okay you ready how many times does NSYNC say bye in their song bye 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 well like like in the like repeated in the chorus or throughout the whole song throughout the whole song 98 good answer good answer 15 times. 15? Oh my gosh. 27. Good answer. How many times does NSYNC say bye in their song Bye Bye Bye? 26. Very nice, very nice. You should plug your band. Um, follow us at Plantonic. At Sage Hughes. At Plantonic. Sage Hughes. At Sage Hughes. Sage Hughes Network. Uh, it's my lucky number. It's 52. Holy cow. Wait a minute. She actually got that right. Whoa! Thank you, Skylar, and congrats to Madame Blythe who got it right. I'm Lucas Johnson. And I'm Brindley Flickle. And that's a wrap. Oh, that's a really good